I obtained the strongest units in Anime Vanguard's Update 1. I was able to take a whole break before Update 1.1 with Sukuna released. I don't know why it took them so long. But now he's here, I am off break, and I'm ready to get him and Gojo, because, uh, again, I was on break and I did not get him. These units are pretty cool, probably the coolest units in the entire game, and I'm gonna be getting both of them, evolving them, and even trying my run at the Sukuna boss rush. So let's get into it. Right, hold on, no, let's, let's, let's check this stuff out, let's check this stuff out. Oh, okay, yeah, they changed all of the UIs, I was, okay, yeah, th this stuff looks cool. Boss event, yeah, Sukuna, does he give any fingers? You could buy fingers for, like, two coins each. Oh, yeah. Oh, frick. Okay, so you can actually get fingers go pretty easily. Alright, well, let's go! Oh, okay, that oh, looks cool. Hold on. This looks good. Yeah, no, it looks strangely good. Okay. Okay, now I'm running over that. I don't know why the frame rate is so low, but I kind of like that. Oh, crap. These guys are not dying. Hey, well, that yeah, was you, they're, they're regen. I'm actually yeah, with the Okay, maybe I should have placed farther back. Oh, a few stars approaching. Oh, frick. Okay, um, 600k? Not bad. <laughs> Yo, I'm actually with the, I'm getting cooked. I'm getting cooked. What the frick? I, I can't kill these guys. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to this. Alright, round two. I think I have a better strategy this time. Um, don't place right away? Alright, I think right now we're actually good. I have pretty good setup. Sukuna's here though, that's fun. <laughs> Please, Egress, I need this. Dude, 100k left. Please. There's another one. Oh no. No, 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 no. Attack. No. All right, come on though, come on, come on. We, we, uh, we got this. All right, select an attack. Uh, we'll do flame bye, bye. release. That's, that's probably good. All right, no, that guy, okay, that guy just tore through a bunch of the arise. Come on, dude! Oh, it's over. Come on, you got that, you got that, Tengen. Nice, okay. All right, this is bad. I only have three maxed out Egresses, two Chosos, and a Jinwoo. This is, oh, this is not good. Two million? Okay, I mean, with everything wiped out, I think it's possible. I'm not using the arise until everyone else is dead. Tengen can't be sold? Wait, 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 what, what? No, what? How, when? Oh, it's so Jover. Yeah, dude, what the hell? What, what can we do against this? I mean, I guess I could distribute my money more? All right, oh, yeah, well, I'm dumb cooked, dude. Like, how, man? How are you do this? Yeah, I... <laughs> Oh, man. I need Gojo, but I don't have enough fingers, so, uh, uh I, I gotta get to grinding fingers. Oh. The next day. Alright, I've been grinding for a bit to get just enough Sukuna fingers. So we can go into the cursed shop and get both our six eyes. Now, I believe I should have enough for Gojo. Yes! Alright, nice. Yeah, this dude's about to be a monster, dude. Oh my god. That cosmetic goes pretty freaking hard, too. But now let's go check out Gojo, our glorious king. Alright, starting on placement. Range isn't bad, and final range is pretty good. For his passive, he has strongest sorcerer, which damage plus 20% and SPM minus 10%, and then limitless. Immune to status ailments, damage plus 0.1% with each wave passed. On placement, he's going to be doing 3.35 thousand damage every 4.7 seconds with 22.2 range. He also has Deadeye, which means that he has crit, which is, again, pretty good. The first attack, he spawns a blue onto the enemies. That is a pretty good visually looking attack. And at upgrade 3, he gets red. A line AoE where he shoots the red. VFX, again, looks very good. Not bad jump in damage, cooldown and range. And for the attack, Gojo shoots the red. Looks very cool, actually, yeah. Looks like an actual, like, blast, instead of just, like, a orb, an explosion, you know? Then at upgrade 6, he gets purple? Bigger line AoE. I don't know why it, like, kept going so far when that's not even his range, but... 13.22 thousand damage every 5.1 seconds with 33.7 range with, again, 45% crit. This is already an amazing unit, and he's at upgrade six. He puts the red and blue together and then fires the purple. I love, like, the, the waves it makes around it. Like, it's bending the space itself, but that's cool. And because the animation takes so long, this attack basically starts right after the last one ends, which is also 
Like, really cool. Then, at upgrade 8, he gets Void. Upon activation, Gojo gains plus 50% damage, and all enemies in range are frozen for 10 seconds. Every kill while Void is active lowers SBA by negative 2%, down to negative 10%. That is a really good buff, actually. But I do actually want to use it just to see what it's like. Okay, yeah, so, like, very basic Void effects, you know, like, very standard. I think it sucks that it only applies to units in its range. That's, that's very stupid. But at upgrade 9, he gets max purple. Full AoE, 36.87 thousand damage every 10.2 seconds of 41.5 range. And the VFX for this looks sick, dude. Oh my god. It even has the text there! Dude, okay, this is actually so freaking cool. And then his max upgrade, he's going to be doing 40.7 thousand damage every 9.9 .9 seconds with 46 range. 45% crit and void as an ability, which is really good. This unit's like freaking busted, dude. Oh my god. Man, now it's time I grind for Sukuna. You know, we start off with are speed wagons so you need gojo for the main like the main damage dealer jin Wu for a rise and chosos to get rid of uh regen and void which multiplies gojo's damage like i can almost beat sukuna without using a rise except this time i do because i wasn't i wasn't paying attention so I... oh no am i about to lose here Wait. what are you doing hit him what the frick gojo oh no you killed him ha what the hell was that uh, let's do flame release. Oh. You want to get rid of cleave dash first, then flame release. All right, right Sukuna's up? in range. We're gonna time stop, multiply damage, and kill everything to make way for the arise. Oh, he's almost. Come on, yo. Come on, Gojo. Come on, Gojo. Come on. Come on. Yo, fourteen thousand left. Oh my god. All right, void. Jinwu, arise. I should have used arise sooner. I that, that was bad. Then uh, honestly, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Gojo's void on auto. One million already over there. This is not great. Get him to yes. Okay, that was a really good domain. I have I this I should have this. I should have this. Yes, I did it. I did it. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've no. I've did I just saw Gojo? What the frick happened? Yes, already... I did. I did it. I did it. Yes. <laughs> Now, uh, I think I can buy... I can buy 20 and get Tsukuna. But now, I can evolve him. So let's do it. There he is, Tsukuna. Okay, y'all, this, this cosmetic is kind of cheeks, y'all. Hold on. All right, three passives. King's Curse. Attacks before upgrade nine cleave enemies, making them take plus 20% more damage from bleed. Okay, that means that he bleeds too, I think? Sinister Sanctum, upgrade 8. Gains the ability Sinister Sanctum. Damage plus 1% for each kill during Sinister Sanctum, up to 30 plus percent. So that's the knockoff Malevolent Shrine. <laughs> and then he gets Divine Flames at upgrade 9. Gains the fire element, damage plus 40%, immune to stun. This unit sounds busted, so let's take a look at him. Alright, starting out here, we have Sukuna who costs 2,000 to place. Pretty good damage and stats overall. And for the attack, he jumps behind the enemy, slams down, and does a bunch of cleaves. That is a really unique attack, and looks really good, dude. But his next move is at upgrade 3, where he gets Dismantle Slam. Full- oh my god! Okay, so there's a bunch of cleaves and dismantles jumps up into the air, slams down, there's a black flash. Oh my god, dude. That is sick. Three upgrades in, 7,000 damage every 6.2 seconds with 27 range. Oh my god. This dude is insane. This might be the coolest unit in the game so far. Next upgrade is at upgrade six where he gets cleaving dash. Yep, Wynaomi, which I, I could have predicted. Let's see. So he dashes forward doing a bunch of cleaves in his mantles. Damage is still insane too, dude. But his next attack is at upgrade 8, Sinister Sanctum. At upgrade 9, he gets Flame Release. Which is gonna be Fuga, I believe. Very curious on what the AoE is gonna be. But yeah, upgrade 9, Flame Release. Interesting. Okay. And then he gets two elements, Curse and Fire. A Cone AoE, so sadly he's not the best. 
very... That, that sucks a lot. He does the Fuga and then launches it. I have no idea what happens after that. Yeah, this, this looks so cool. At max upgrade, he's going to be doing 26.14 thousand damage every 6.2 seconds with 41.8 damage. Again, he doesn't really have a good trait right now, but I'm, I'm like very sad that he isn't the best, you know? I, I wish he was better. That being said, we have not seen his ability yet. All right. Okay, that's, that's kind, oh, that, that lasted for like a good bit. That was kind of underwhelming though. The damage was really good. Visually, it looked kind of lame though. The shrine model looked really cool and the cleaves were also pretty good animated, but th that's kind of it. There just wasn't really any oomph to that, you know? But now let's begin comparing him to Gojo because, I mean, you know, they're kind of like the two strongest units in the update. Now, obviously, Gojo is a full AoE when maxed out. While Sukuna does about 32,000 damage every 6.2 seconds, Gojo does 40,000 damage every 11.1 seconds. With Sukuna's domain, it kills almost everything in his range and empowers his normal damage for the entire game. Gojo's domain stuns everyone in his range for 10 seconds and increases his damage a good portion while the domain is active. Now, obviously, you, you can't really compare the two of them. Sukuna's AoE is Cone, and his domain is mainly used for damage, while Gojo's a full AoE whose domain is mainly used as a support and to buff him for a short time. Gojo's obviously going to be better here. Sukuna is still one of the best units in the game, and my personal favorite unit just because getting him was pretty fun and unique was this update worth three weeks of waiting hell no but still this unit's cool and i enjoyed it and next update is going to be don don my favorite new gen out right now i am so excited but yeah that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one peace